What's going on, YouTube? Welcome to the Gym of All Trades channel. 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 Uh, welcome to the channel. <laughs> welcome. Glad you made it by. My name's Jim. I'm a crypto trader and a forex trader here to help you understand the market from an Elliott Wave perspective. Guys, have you ever noticed that, uh, man, the, the crypto YouTubers just react to Bitcoin? Man, you get a green candle. Oh, it's going to the moon. Oh, urgent bear warning. And it's always reactive to the market. Uh, man, guys, let me just let me just tell you. I'm just going to show you a couple of things uh a uh, couple of videos that I made here th over this last week, and they're preemptive, guys. And this is why Elliott Wave, you got to learn Elliott Wave because everything, uh, all the calls that I make are based upon my analysis of Elliott Wave structure and RSI analysis. And so uh, when we use that, we can really, really get a sense for where the market's going in advance uh, before it goes there. Uh, and so, yeah, I made, I made a couple of videos. Um, well, let's see. Well, we had a great trading night last night. Let me share you the, share with those. We had a great night last night. After the daily candle close, we had some shenanigans, and we watch that every night. We're always aware of the daily candle close and shenanigans. Uh, and basically, I saw this structure. This is a picture of a chart that I shared last night, uh, and we had our entry right up here, guys. This is Ethereum. Uh, yeah, this is Ethereum. This is a one-minute chart, guys. We get our entries on the one-minute chart a lot of times uh, to the five-minute chart uh, for our trades. And so uh, this measured really great to the upside as it, as it looked like a WXY or an ABC or something like that. Uh, but we got in short right up right up in this region. If you look at the current chart now, let me just show you how the chart played out. Well, there's, there's the trade that, that was set up, and, and here is what we got. We actually held this uh, down. I took some profit down here uh, and re-entered the trade. Uh, right here on this pullback and then made some more uh, more money to the downside as this went down so anyway uh, yeah we Elliott wave is what allowed me to see this everybody else was like say uh, I mean, MM crypto was like this is bullish it's happening today guys look at this broadening wedge and 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 this is going up we're gonna make all-time highs and blah 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 and and we're as Elliott wave traders guys we're just looking at this as, a, as an ABC uh, and then we're heading down you know to the downside and so anyway guys uh, gotta learn Elliott wave if you haven't learned it uh, let me show you the ADA chart that I shared this is that's ETH here here's ADA ADA right there. This is the actual chart I shared in the Discord. Uh, let me see if I can pull it up on the Discord here. Sorry about that. I didn't. Uh, let's see. Right here. Let's go to Elite Chat and scroll back up to last night. Um, where is it? Come on. There we go. Uh, let's see. Yep. Here's the. Uh, let's see. This is the. Uh, what chart is this? Oh, oh, guys! You can't even see. You can't even see what I was pulling up. This is the Bitcoin chart that I shared uh, last night, expecting this to, to the downside as well. Uh, so yeah, you know, guys, the the market was pretty clear. We had a nice move. Um, we had a we we had a nice move. I, I thought you guys could see my uh, Discord, but it was off the screen. I totally forgot that. Anyway, this is the chart. This is the picture of the chart that I shared last night. Here's the play out for ADA. Uh, here's what I shared. This was our entry right here at the top, as close to the top as you can get. And boom! If you're not part of the Discord, love to have you in there. Uh, if you want the signals that I just shared with you, you got to get into the second tier. If you just want to learn Elliott Wave and how to and how to do this, uh, you can get in the first tier. It's educational. You get two uh, two uh, live live streams every day morning and evening analysis and I talk about trade setups that are setting up uh, but in real time as I see trade setups I post them in tier two in our elite uh, in our elite setups so anyway yeah but uh, you know we, we had those we had these setups as as the wave was being made and we had the entries there prior to not in reaction to the wave but rather we, we saw where the wave was going to end uh, and uh, saw the signs uh, for our trade signals um, I made a video. Let's see. Let, let me show you a couple of videos. I made a video right here warning uh, whale manipulation. Um, let's see uh, on Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, let's see. Now that's not the one. Yeah, yeah. This bear here. Here's here's here it is. Warning. I, I said this bear sees important bullish signals. Here's the. Um, Here's the here's the video I made. I made it on August the 18th. This bear sees important bullish signals, and let me show you uh, let me show you the chart. 
of Bitcoin. I made that video on August the 18th, right here, 2000, and I saw, and we tr we were able to trade this uh, wave, uh, most of that up to the upside. Uh, didn't catch all of it. We got in down here, took profit right in here. Didn't catch this last uh, little leg. Not a problem. And then uh, on the uh, let's see, on the 20th, I say urgent bearish signals flashing now. And you'll notice that I made the video not not after the bearish move happened, but rather prior to the bearish move. I said in this video, expect one more spike to the high and then down we go. In fact, you can see what I've drawn here, spiking to the high and then down we go. So anyway, and that's exactly how the chart has played out for the most part. Uh, now we don't always get them right, but my, my point here is that Elliott Wave gives you Elliott Wave beats it all, guys. It gives you a preemptive foretelling of where the wave might go and what it might look like, so you can trade by it. If you haven't learned Elliott Wave, welcome to my channel. Love to have you in the Discord. You can learn Elliott Wave through the channel a little harder. I've got a playlist uh, it's called Trading Night School. You, it's for free. You can go in there and and learn Elliott Wave there. Um, it, there's some live streams that I did several years ago they are what they are guys and they're free but if you want uh, some more polished videos than you and, and uh, of me teaching Elliot then you can come on into the discord and we'll get you in there and you can learn Elliot the end the, the beginning of the month is coming and I'm gonna make a little sale for you now anybody that joins the discord between now and the end of the month we're gonna give you the end of this month this this week for free so uh, now you'll have to join patreon what I'll have to do is refund uh, refund your uh, your payment once uh, the September September payment goes through uh, through Patreon because Patreon bills on the first of the month. They'll bill you the day you sign up, and then they bill you on the first of the month. And I'll just refund one of those for you. Uh, so anybody that comes into the uh, to the group uh, this week uh, gets this week for free. Just let me know, uh, and we'll talk about it. What you do is you just go sign up on the Patreon. Uh, I get an email uh, that that you signed up. I send you a welcome email with a link to the Discord, and then we can discuss uh, giving you that refund. Um, uh, once the first of the month gets here. All right, with that said, guys, uh, I just want to say, guys, Elliott Wave is awesome. Let's look at the chart from an Elliott Wave perspective. Uh, we had a great night last night trading these uh, trading these setups in ADA, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. Uh, and uh, what are we seeing now? Well, well again, I'm, I'm seeing some setups here. We got WXYs forming here on the small time frame. Uh, this is kind of what I'm looking at right now with this, this chop and garbledy gook down here. I'm looking at a possible WXY. Uh, coming up here this is my simple count uh, to this region uh, this region here with maybe some more downside to come uh, this looks very corrective here uh, there is a way to look at it bullish we'll talk about it but right now I'm looking at this as a corrective wave a big WXY kind of confusing people and uh, and down we go after that. Now I've also got a more complex count that I'll show you in just a minute. But before we get to the small time frame, guys, let's look at the larger time frame of Bitcoin and and see what's going on. Um, sorry, I don't want this video to sound like a brag post because it's really not my style. But I do want to show. I showed you these things just so you know. While you got all these other channels that are telling you after the fact yeah big bearish urgent bear you know crypto kirby's funny man he, he's so funny he comes out uh with bearish signals once the market starts dumping but if you learn elliot you can kind of see the dumps coming in advance uh and be ready for them so anyway we don't always time them perfectly but we really work hard to get as close to the timing as we can and we're ready we're ready with our money but i just want to just put a plug in for elliot wave because i love elliot wave theory and applying it to the markets so what is going on here? Well, my basic count, again, if you've been around a while, is that this is an A, B, and a C that ends right here. And this is also an A, B, C that ends right here. I believe, I'm not certain, but I believe we have topped out. And we are now making uh, some kind of an A wave uh, or a one wave down to the downside. Now, this can be counted uh, a couple of ways. You can count this as a one, two. Okay, which this is part of a third wave that'll that'll start impulsing to the downside, and it'll look something like that, and that'll be a five wave move right there, and that would be an A wave or a one wave followed by a three wave pullback, which would have a continuation wave more than likely if we get something like that, and that's pretty much my primary 
what I'm watching for right now. This is well in advance in the future. We don't really need to get that far in advance. What we really need to focus on is right here, this wave. What are we getting right now? Well, the best I can tell is that we have a one wave. We've got a kind of a diagonal impulse wave. And then we have a what we got the other day, that little bullish move to the upside was a, a wave two. And now we're in the middle of wave three. We have broken out of the structure, and that's important to note. Uh, I talk about that in my in my Discord. And when we break when we break price structure, that's significant. Let me show you other areas where we break price structure. We had a nice trend where we had one, two, three, four touches almost, almost a touch here. Uh, but this is a nice trend line here going up in the bull run. Once we broke that structure, guys. It retested it, and it was on like Donkey Kong. Okay, so it came down. We got a retest again, a larger retest, and then down a go, down we went. So we understand that that's a pattern. You see a smaller time frame here. You got a touch here, a touch here, a touch here. Boom, we broke it, retested, and then continued down. Okay, and that's kind of the pattern here. Okay, you see it again right here. We got a touch here, a touch here, and a touch there. We broke it, retested it, and continued down. Uh, you also have one here where we broke it, retested it, and it was a larger continuation to the downside. So I'm looking at this at just that same principle here when we have broken the price structure. It tells me that we're going to probably come down more. We're going to retest it in some fashion. Okay, this will be retested and it may be being retested right now, but it's going to be retested. We'll, we'll get some kind of an impulse, a retest, and a continuation. I don't know what that shape wave is going to look like. It could look like three waves like this, or it could be something as simple as this. A five wave move right there. And then we get another wave to the upside that kind of comes back up to this region here. Retest the top, retest the 618, something like that. Um, but we will get a wave back up. We'll get something like this wave right there. So we got an impulse down. That's what we're doing right now, I believe. Some kind of an impulse to the downside. I believe that. Now, I may not be right on that, and I'm ready to trade either one, right? But uh, Elliott Wave isn't about getting it right. It's just about, you know, saying, being, being ready for what is coming, potentially. Uh, so we were ready for this down move, and it played out beautifully, and we, and we traded our, our bearish setup. Now, this is broken structure. It's retesting on the small time frames. We're keeping an eye on the small waves so we can have our entry into the into the wave when it's ready to go short again. Um, so I'll, what I'll try to do now is now go to the smaller time frame and see if I can get some wave structure together for you uh, in that garbledy gook that's been happening all right here and see if I can come up with some kind of wave structure for you that makes sense. Okay? Now, couple of ways I can look at this and I can look at this uh, I can look at it um, complexly or I can look at it simply so we're gonna look at it uh, in a complex way first and then I'll look at it simply okay so the complex way is I'm looking at this as a flat right there that's a three wave move okay all right now we have a three wave there and we're getting a three wave here and I wouldn't be surprised to see here at the daily close or something uh, another wave to the downside like this, okay, where we get a third wave to the downside. And what this becomes is a three wave move like a so, okay. So we got a three wave up, then we got a three wave down, okay, and then we could get a, a really fast wave like a flat a five wave move to the upside that would be a flat and and this trend line that you see right here is my is that large time frame trend line that I was telling you about where we broke the structure now we're playing on it okay so we could retest it in a flat that's a very complex wave but nevertheless that and what what this would form as far as I can tell is uh, this would be a one two three four five that's a a leading diagonal or a uh, some kind of an impulse wave, okay? Um, five wave move. Then we had an ABC pullback, A, B, C, that got really extended, okay? And now what we have now is another one wave to the downside, and this would be a two wave to the upside or a rebound wave or a corrective wave to the upside. So this is a potential one, two, one, two, okay? And if that plays out like that, 
then we can expect a really, really big wave coming very soon, maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. Uh, it is the close of the CME. It is the end of the month. There's all kinds of the reasons why this thing could dump. All right. So, sorry about that. So, yeah, uh, that that's one scenario. That That is the complex uh, scenario. That we'll, as this plays out, we'll, we're going to just keep a bead on that in the in the Discord, and uh, you know we'll update the wave and we'll nail our entry once it reveals itself. Okay. The second the second thing, the more simple um, wave, is that this finished this wave here. This was like the fifth wave here, and this was a one to the upside, and this is a two. But this two might not be finished. It might also need to be complex as well. I just kind of feel like we need to do that, and then go up for a third wave, and it'll be something like this, okay? And that's excluding this flat. That's a similar a similar outcome, to be honest with you. All right. The only other thing I can see is that this could be a one or an A B, and then we're getting C right now. That's one two. We're in the middle of three four five and we'll get five waves to the upside like so and we'd expect it to come somewhere somewhere between the one to one and the one six uh, one six one eight somewhere in this corrective region here okay you can see that there's all there's a there's a order block over here section there a liquidity section there that this might come and retest it might wick back into the structure and then break back out again that's a possibility okay now, is there any possibility this just goes down from here? I don't think so. I don't think so. Up. The only way, I, the only count I see that it would go down from here is a 1, 2, 1, 2, and then down. But it doesn't look like a 1, 2, 1, 2. It, it, I, I, I don't like that count. But I like to challenge myself uh, to see if there's any other counts. So I like to challenge myself to see if there are any other counts there. So that that's kind of an out of the box uh, count. I'm expecting tonight shenanigans around the daily close, which is about two hours from now, time of recording. Uh, it's 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. 7 p.m. Central Standard Time is when I when the daily closes. That's 8 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, and then 5 p.m. Pacific Time in the U.S. Uh, in in London GMT, what is that? Seven plus six. What is that? One one a.m. One a.m. is your can the daily candle close. That's when you get shenanigans, and what usually happens is a within the first couple of hours after the daily close, you get a you get a, a trending move that happens and it goes through the night it trends through the night into the morning until new york opens around 8 a.m uh, eastern time okay and that's kind of the way the market moves uh it's timed and we in our discord really really pay attention to those times all right um so anyway that those are my ideas there for bitcoin okay uh but guys basically my right now my bias is to the downside that we need uh, we need downside waves, but this is gonna this is gonna be kind of a complex correction that's gonna confuse a lot of traders, I imagine, uh, and then and then maybe come up something like this, okay, uh, three waves, and then come on down, okay, it could could come up to this trend line and stop. Um, and then come on down, but that that's what we're going to be watching for tonight uh, and over into the overnight hours. Once we get our move to the upside and we see the wave structure that we want to see um, that makes sense to us, and we have a, we have a good valid count, we're going to enter short and take uh, and take our shorts if if our setup is there. If we don't see our wave structure and we don't see the RSI the way we want to see it with the uh, with the hidden bearish divergence on it, then uh, then we will not take that short. Okay, we do have hidden bear divergence on the charts working. It's very strong. Okay, uh, if you don't know what hidden bear is, you definitely need to study that. Okay, uh, where uh, ten minute chart might be a better chart. There you go, right here. This is called exaggerated bearish divergence, where this is the top of the wave, this is the top of the correction, and you see the disparity between those peaks there. This is straight across while this is down. That's hidden bear, or that's, that's continuation divergence. Now, this thing may come down and go up again, and I'm expecting something like that probably tonight. I'm, that's what I'm kind of looking for is my primary count. Some kind of a downward move and then another upward move to kind of kind of fake everybody out um, 
you know, around the daily close, something like that. Um, so, you know, that's going to bring the RSI down and then up again uh, to kind of get over oversold here. And that'll be really, really strong uh, hidden bearish divergence if that, if that plays like that. Okay. All right, guys, that's the way I'm looking at the market. I'm looking for continuation to the downside. If you want to be part of the Discord, love to have you. Get free. Uh, if anybody that joins for the month of September, if you join today or any time between now and the end of August, it is a it is a free, uh, free, free, August is free for you. The last week of August is free. So I want to invite you in. Take advantage of that. And uh, uh, anyway, just uh, shoot me an email at jimofalltrades7 uh, at gmail.com if you need uh, if you have any questions about any of that, you can go to patreon.com slash gym of all trades. The link is in the description. If you want to be part of the discord. Love to have you. If you want to learn Elliot, you want to be, have some of those signals there, uh, learn how to trade those signals. Now, now, let me be honest with you. I'm not here to tell you that every, every signal and every setup that I share works. You have to learn how to trade in order to, to, to work a signal. So anybody that comes in thinking I'm just going to trade his signals, that's not the way to do it. Okay, you got to come in and learn how to trade uh, alongside of us as you as you watch our signals and why we take trades. And that's what we're all about. We're about trading education, psychology, risk management, and Elliott Wave, RSI, um, uh, strategies and I'll teach my signature trade and and how we enter into trades with good risk management and high high reward low risk so uh, that's the key to trading guys so don't expect to come in and say yeah I'm just gonna make all this money I'm not here promising you the moon you can make money I've had a couple of people come in in the last week and they're really enjoying the discord they've I've got one fellow who's just doing such a kind he just emails me every other day just with a kind word I'm just loving the discord loving the signals loving the loving the uh, Elliott wave uh, you know he's he's learning and he's enjoying it. He's putting the work in, and that's what that's what you need to do. You you got to come in and you got to put the work in to learn to trade. Uh, so this is a real Discord. It's no hype here, guys. No promises of billions of dollars. Uh, we, we don't always get this crypto. Sometimes we sometimes we miss a wave, but that's okay because there's a trade every day and we don't FOMO. It's a no FOMO zone. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by the channel. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, and I uh, did want to just, it is the end of the month, uh, plug the uh, Discord. Um, you know, I try not to do a lot of shilling of the Discord, but I do want to let you know it is available to you. And if you want to learn to trade alongside us, we'd love to have you. With that said, thanks for stopping by. Share some love in the comments, please. Share some love in the comments. And don't forget to, you can smash the like button. You can tap it. You can click it real lightly. You can even uh, triple click it. Don't double click it because I think it'll go off. You can do whatever you want to do. Make sure you subscribe as well. And uh, have a great night. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.